Welcome to the Royal Oak Farm. In God's word, Psalm 89 11, God reminds us that the heavens and the earth are his. He created them. We are grateful to the Lord because he has given us this beautiful piece of land where we have planted fruit trees. It is our hope and prayer that they will provide delicious, fresh, tree ripened fruit for those people who live in this area. Since 1992, 10,000 apple trees, 300 peach trees, and over 15 acres of berries and pumpkins have been planted at Royal Oak Farm. Growing good fruit involves more than just planting a tree and picking the fruit. Just like you, young boys and girls need wise and loving parents to help you grow healthy, wise, and strong. Our trees, too, need farmers like us, seeking God's wisdom to help us grow good fruit, to protect it from disease that will not only look good, but also taste good. The first step in growing good fruit is to trim the trees so that the fruit can have plenty of sunshine and lots of air movement. This gives it good color and keeps it from getting diseases. Since the trees lose their leaves in the winter and fall asleep, most of the trimming will start in February. At Royal Oak Farm, it takes a crew of four men trimming about 10 weeks or approximately two and one half months to trim all our trees. Notice how much of the branches have to be cut out. Trimming must be finished in early May when the juices start flowing within the trees and the trees put on a spring coat of apple blossom flowers. The buds for the flowers were formed in July of the previous year and each blossom has a chance to turn into a beautiful apple. All the blossom needs to do is to attract some pollen from another blossom and an apple seed will be born. Sometimes the wind will blow pollen from one blossom to another, but most of the time the pollen is carried by little workers. Let me introduce you to one of over two million workers we have here at Royal Oak Farm. Meet Mrs. B. She is a honeybee. She doesn't appear to be a very tidy lady as she is all covered with yellow powder called pollen. Mrs. B's job is to carry this pollen back to her beehive as food. Notice that she is well equipped for the job. How marvelous is God's creation. The end of each hair on her body is like a little fish hook and pollen just sticks to her. We sometimes refer to her as Mrs. Velcro because pollen just sticks to her. Notice the pollen ball on her feet that she gathered together with her legs to carry back to her hive. The important job she has is to visit 50 to 100 blossoms on every flight and she manages to pick up new pollen but also drops pollen from her body onto each blossom. This pollen is the start of an apple seed and an apple. The more times Mrs. B visits the blossom, the more seeds are formed and the bigger the apple becomes. We are very thankful for this wonderful worker God has provided for us. Our honeybees are the only workers on the farm who pay us for working here. Do you know how they pay us? If you said by providing us with honey, you were right. Honeybees are interesting to study. It takes 12 bees a full lifetime to make one teaspoon of honey. Most bees only live about six weeks during the summer. Each beehive can contain from 20,000 to 60,000 bees. Most are female workers, but there is one special bee who is much larger than a worker bee. She is the queen. Her job is to lay all the eggs for the babies. She can lay anywhere from one to 2,000 eggs per day. She also lives from two to three years. Our honeybees live all year long in their beehive. Even when it is very cold, the bees form a large ball of bees and keep each other warm. They do eat honey and must have about 70 pounds of honey in their hives to survive the winter. We gather the honey that the bees give us once a year. The bees don't want to give up their honey too easy, so it is necessary for us to cover them with some smoke. As we remove part of their hive, we bring these hives into our honey house. At the honey house, we remove the honey from the honeycomb where the bees have stored the honey. The honeycomb is made of beeswax and the honey is sealed into small cells. In order to remove the honey, the frames of honeycomb are run through a machine which cuts off the wax cover and opens the cells. The honeycomb is then placed into a special drum 
which will spin very quickly and force the honey to be removed without damaging the main part of the cells in the honeycomb. The honey is then passed through some special machines to remove the wax and then pumped into a honey tank, which is used to fill our bottles you see in our market. Honey is very good for you and is a special treat. Without bees in our orchard, we would have very few apples, so we must say thank you to Mrs. B for visiting our trees. On your tour, you will ride out in our covered wagon to pick your own apples or pumpkins. You will then return and go to our picnic area where you will be given a delicious cider donut and jug of cider. You can then visit our play area and petting zoo. If you are picking pumpkins, the stem has already been cut for you. If you are picking apples, it is important to know how to pick properly. Please twist the apple with a slight pull until the apple comes off the branch. If you pull too hard, you will cause other apples to fall to the ground or you will pull the leaves and buds off with the apple. Since the buds for next year's apple are on the tree with the leaves, you will be pulling off next year's apples as well. So please twist first. Thank you for visiting Royal Oak Farm. You are now ready to go on your tour. It is a joy for us to have you as our guests. Please enjoy the beauty of God's creation here and be careful to observe all our safety rules to avoid any injury. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Have a blessed day.